What if I told you that you could start reversing fatty liver disease and lowering your risk of that deadly liver cancer just by changing what you drink each morning? Imagine protecting your liver from two of the most serious threats, not with expensive medications, but with a simple cup of coffee or green tea. Today, we're gonna to dive into the science to answer the big question, which one is the real liver super drink? And how can you use it to protect yourself from fatty liver, cirrhosis, and more? Your liver is one of the most hardworking organs in our body. It's responsible for detoxifying your blood, metabolizing nutrients, and supporting your immune system. But with rates of fatty liver disease and cirrhosis on the rise due to modern diets and lifestyles, it's so important, more important than ever, to give your liver the support it deserves. So what does the research say about green tea? A 2017 review in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences found that green tea polyphenols, especially EGCG, epigallocatic and gallates, can reduce liver fat and inflammation in both animal and human studies. While a 2020 meta-analysis in physiotherapy research showed that green tea consumption improves key liver enzymes like ALT and AST in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, thanks to its powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory effects, which helps reduce fat buildup and fibrosis in the liver. Now, what about coffee? The evidence here is even more impressive. A 2016 review in elementary pharmacology and therapeutics found that drinking two or more cups of coffee a day is linked to a significantly lower risk of cirrhosis and liver cancer. And a 2021 study showed that coffee drinkers had a 21% reduced risk of chronic liver disease and a staggering 49% lower risk of death from liver disease. Coffee's benefits come from compounds like chlorogenic acids, which reduces inflammation and slows the progression of fibrosis in the liver. And the data suggests that coffee may even lower your risk of liver cancer and help slow the progression of fatty liver disease as well. But again, moderation is important. Avoid loading your coffee with sugar or cream and stick to two to three cups a day for maximum benefits. So which is better for your liver, green tea or coffee. Both drinks are packed with antioxidants. They both have shown to lower fatty liver and inflammation. But coffee has a slight edge in the research, especially when it comes in preventing cirrhosis and liver cancer. That said, green tea is a fantastic alternative, especially if you're sensitive to caffeine or just want to mix things up. But drinks alone aren't enough. If you want to truly protect your liver, you need to pair it with your favorite beverage with the Mediterranean style diet rich in fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, and lean proteins. And avoid excess sugar, processed foods, as well as alcohol. Yes, regular exercise is another powerful tool for reducing liver fat. And some supplements like milk thistle or vitamin E may offer additional support under your doctor's supervision. So if you're at risk, make sure to get regular liver function tests to catch any problems early. So here's the bottom line. If you love coffee, enjoy two to three cups a day, preferably black or with minimal sugar as part of a healthy lifestyle. And if green tea is more your style, you'll still get that great liver benefits up to three to four cups a day as well. So combine these habits with smart eating, regular movement, and routine checkups, and you'll give your liver the best chance to thrive. Now I want to hear from you. Which do you prefer, coffee or green tea? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, take care of your body. Get your rest, meditate, find hobbies you enjoy, drink your waters and hydrate, get rid of the processed refined foods, eat those fibrous foods, those grown from the ground, those fruits and vegetables and your whole grains. Just take care of yourself, be proactive, and your body will love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day.
I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.